So kia ora everyone and thanks for joining me. So today with us we have Peter Maxson who is the manager of the Recreation Centre and Sports Scholarship Programme at Lincoln University. So thanks for joining us Pete. Thank you Anna. Great, so let's get into it. So Pete, initially, can you just give us a little bit of information about your role at Lincoln um, and with specific reference to the Sports Scholarship Program? Yes, Anna, yeah, I've been at Lincoln for quite a while now. Obviously, the Sports Scholarship it is, is in its 21st year at Lincoln University. So um, my role is a manager of the Sports Scholarship Program and, um, you know, we have a multidisciplinary approach on that. And of course, we're very thankful for working with our our main code partners of Crusaders Rugby, uh, Mainland Netball, uh, Canterbury Cricket, Canterbury Hockey, uh, Canterbury Basketball and Canterbury Rowing. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Thank you. So if you could give us a little bit of information for people watching this um, with regards to what is actually included in the Sports Scholarship Programme and why is it so special? Yeah, well, you know, way back in 1999, when Lincoln University started the sports scholarship program, Lincoln University saw there was a void between the, um, you know, a, a student uh, gaining an academic degree and, and, and his sport. And that's where Lincoln came in with a sports scholarship program to assist with both academic and, and sporting success or, or, and, and opportunities. Um, the sports scholarship program... Uh, basically facilitates um, athletic development and of course Richard Ducris is our athletic performance manager so he manages the team of strength and conditioning staff in that space with uh, Wani Smith and Callum Brown all looking after our different sports. We um, train our athletes uh, about 59 hours a week across the sports uh, per week uh, on our campus and of course we've got a, a wonderful system in, in process called the Metrofit Athlete Management System which all our uh, sports scholars partake in. We also have uh, consultants uh, that provide uh, consultants to our program such as nutrition consultant, also a mental skills consultant uh, that provide uh, that into our program and as mentioned earlier our sporting code partners play an active uh, uh, role in our program uh, with extra skill sessions and 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 of course uh, Link University is the only university in New Zealand that has universal free time on a Wednesday between one o'clock and three o'clock and we take a major opportunity of that time to train athletes as well with their skill development in their chosen sports. Now I know you've got an awesome team of staff at the Rec Centre, would you tell us a little bit more about the expertise that you have on hand and the facilities that students can expect to have access to at Lincoln? Yeah, obviously, uh, we are very thankful for the professional staff we have in the strength and conditioning space. As I mentioned earlier, Richard Ducris, athletic performance manager, has had a, a, a lot of experience of training uh, some provincial teams in the past. And he's also um, you know, a guy that's looking outside the envelope as well, trying to make an athlete go faster, be stronger and fitter. And also, you know, the... the uh, with the support they get from Awani Smith and Callum Brown uh, as part of Richard's team, they are always looking at, at new ways to implement programming. You know, how can we assist our students? Uh, they remember they are first and foremost students as well as good athletes. You know, how we can have a, a, a very good SNC program in space. And that's, as I said earlier, that's why how our Metrofit system helps a lot. We also work very closely with the other factors of the university life, like student, um, you know, library teaching and learning centre, making sure our students are going there, the careers advice through Michelle Ass and things like that. So we use the, the whole wraparound programme of what the university has to offer as part of our programme as well. And, and, and we thank all the university staff that helped support our sports scholarship programme uh, on our campus very much. No, that's great. And so if there are some students out there who are considering applying, can you tell us a little bit about who is eligible to apply and maybe some advice of students who want to put in an application? Um, anybody is eligible to apply, uh, you know, as part of the scholarship program, uh, you know, in, in our chosen sports um, that I've just mentioned earlier, but also in, in, in other sports, such as uh, if you're a good cyclist or good mountain biker or you're an equestrian uh, athlete and so on you can apply through the scholarship program as well uh, so any if you if you've had very great success in your sport you can apply uh, just filling all the information they require of you your coaches report of course your academic report from your school and so on uh, we take all that information and we discuss that um, with our code partners and we make selection on that we also look at um, 
you know, data we can get from the National Sporting Organization regarding uh, the different talent ID lists. And we also have, uh, as part of our elite scholarship program, we have um, um, Tony Hall, who's part of the New Zealand Olympic Committee, and also for Selwyn Meister, who's also been a past Rose Scholar and also a, um, a wonderful hockey player that won a, a gold medal at the Hockey World uh, at the Olympic Games in 1996. They're also part of our, our panel for choosing our elite scholars. So they bring a very important role as part of some in independent selection as part of that process as well. We also remember that if somebody is not chosen for a sports scholarship in, in that given year, they can apply the following year. So, you know, the door is never shut. Sometimes a student comes on our campus and really excels in his first year in the environment um, of being a student. And then we have uh, an opportunity to apply and that student could get selected in the, in the second year as a sports scholarship student at Lincoln University. No, that's awesome. No, thank you very much, Pete. Um, and I guess the, the last thing is if you've got any extra comments that you wanted to, to add in. Yeah, I think, I think at the end of the day, um, you know, um, there's no magic bullet for hard work in, in, on the athletic side with any athlete. So hard work is very, very important. And, 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 and students that are wanting to apply for our sports scholarship just realize that it, it, we don't make any provinces, promises, but we create opportunities for athletes to excel. And we provide the framework and the foundation for athletes to excel. And doesn't mean to say that a student on a sports scholarship program can't benefit from on, on from the other wonderful things that, that Link University has to have, offer some of our sports clubs environments and things like that. Also, most of our sports clubs have got a trainer affiliated with the teams and they will also assist with giving those students programs and also the, the rec centre staff will help with programming and, and such. But we're very excited at the Link University rec centre, obviously, with the development um, going on at the moment. So we'll be tripling the size of our gymnasium uh, at the rec centre We'll be getting a new teaching space, new sports science lab, uh, a, a climbing wall uh, for our students, and also a new spin studio. So a lot of that development is taking place already. The rugby change room have been updated. So that's something wonderful that will be uh, hopefully completed by February uh, 2021. So it's a wonderful opportunity for students to, to use some of the new spaces we have available as part of the uh, uh, training development uh, on the sports scholarship program or if they're not sports scholars they'll be using those sort of very much as part of our student student body and our students that want to do some different activities on our campus. No that's great there's some really exciting stuff happening on campus for sure. So thanks for joining us um, if you've got any more questions just with regards to what we've spoken about today please contact your uh, careers advisor who can put you in touch with your Lincoln University liaison officer and they can help you out with any questions you might have. So kia ora Pete and thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Bye. for having me.